I get very excited when new apps come out or I find apps that are really, really cool thanks to other people who are in the Linux community, same as me. This is called Mango Juice. This thing is an alternative to Go Overlay, which hopefully will provide more settings and stability when making configs, because as we all know, Go Overlay can be extremely, extremely broken. All right, so uh, let's open it up and give it a shot. Now, uh, you can install this, it's pretty easy. The instructions are all there. There's the dependencies and so on and so forth. It is on the AUR and I will leave an RPM in the description for you to install. But for right now, uh, this is what we have. Not bad, it does not scale very well. So we're gonna view it like this. And maybe we'll also view it like it's a game application window. 3838 centered done okay so gpu load load color there's a whole bunch of stuff here ram disk io other processes swap you got your extra so your distro name your refresh rate your resolution uh your architecture you have your version of wine your engine version your short names your hud version fsr hdr things like that it has everything in here and they're nice clicky little buttons which is what matters? There's also an Intel power fix. Intel, why are you so broken? Now in performance, it has everything you need to see your FPS, your 1% lows, your 0% one lows. Like, I don't know why we can't turn it all on, but you know, your frame limit, uh, your frame times, uh, you have a histograph curve, frames, you name it, it's there. Uh, limiters for FPS, uh, filtering, yada 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 and there's visual stuff here you can put your text so if you want to name each session you can so if you were testing cyberpunk it would say cyberpunk and like this is honestly a really really cool uh little tool so i want to know my gpu load my gpu temperature my power i want to see the load i want to see the van the vram the core frequency the memory frequency and the model of course and I don't care about the Vulcan driver. I want to see the CPU, the load color, the core load, the core bars, the core frequency, the core temperatures. And I don't really care about the power. The power doesn't matter. And the RAM. So I hit save. And what this will do is it will save into your dot config, most likely under Mango HUD. And there's the conf right there, ready to go and done. See that? Generated by Mango Juice. So now, if we decided to, we could open up a game. Let me just turn this capture off. And we should be able to... Actually, there's a test button. Oh. Never mind. Damn it, go away. Yeah, that doesn't want to work. So we're going to try... Uh, Dead Island 2. Mango HUD. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And then command. And this should get us everything we need to uh, view if this thing works or not. Which is what I'm excited about. Okay, so this is officially the coolest thing I've ever seen when it comes to Mango Hut. Look at that! The the CPU core bars. I mean, there's some issues, of course, where everything is going a bit weird, but uh, I like this. This looks nifty. I mean, can we get our mouse in here? The core bars. Right, it's completely frozen now, but that's due to Hogwarts Legacy being a jerk. Look at that. Your average FPS, your 1% lows, your frame times, your GPU percentage of the temperature, the, the hertz and the everything and the whatnots and the who's it's and the NVIDIA, uh, your, your GPU and wow. Wow, that's that's definitely cool. I'm going to get in game and we're going to check this out to see how this works. To do this, I'm going to have to wait like four minutes because Hogwarts Legacy hates people. So there you go smooth we have the fastest broom and best upgrade in the whole game by the way so it's pretty
pretty awesome. So what do you guys think of this thing? It definitely looks cool. I can see that it has some issues underneath the CPU core graph, but I mean, I can't really consider that major. Uh, I might just have to disable that part where it doesn't know what distro I'm on. But any, what, there's people on the bridge? Are you serious? Hi. Ah. Huh. Oh, look at Hogwarts. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. See, it's games like these that just put their all in. It's just, I just wish there was more content. What is that over there? Don't look at that. That's pretty cool. I haven't explored this area very much at all. Anyway, uh, I will leave a link for it in the description below. I'll leave an RPM for you Fedora nuts. And for everybody else, uh, there's the AUR. I don't know if it has releases for other distros. You might have to just compile it and hope for the best. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoy this nifty little alternative to go overly. Bye, everybody.